Hi there boys and girls, my name is Mrs Casey and I'm the Faculty Head of Science in Calder Glen High School. Now you're all due to come up to Calder Glen in August as our new S1. Normally you'd be coming up for visits in May and June uh, for your induction, obviously we can't do this. So we're going to try and do some simple experiments at home that you can maybe try working along with one of the adults in the house to make sure you're safe. First experiment we're going to look at is looking at difference in solubility. If I take stuff from the kitchen store cupboard, here I've got some vinegar, I'm going to pour the vinegar into my glass. And what we're going to do, we're going to quickly compare the solubility or how things mix and dissolve between vinegar and water and oil and water. Now, there's the vinegar. We'll now take a glass and we're going to pour about the same quantity of sunflower oil in. Any oil will do. Okay, so we can see there two different types of liquids. If we take the vinegar first of all, and now we add some water to it. Really boring, nothing happens. They just dissolve together. They all mix together and it all looks pretty much the same. So this means that these two liquids dissolve in each other. Let's now look at the oil. Exact same setup, same volume, and this time I'm going to add water. So as we add the water, if we can just zoom up for a close up here, what we see is something quite strange happening. Is what we've got, we'll put two separate layers. On the top we've got oil, on the bottom we've got water. What this means is that these two liquids don't mix, they're not, they're immiscible, they don't dissolve in each other. The oil's at the top because it's less dense and the water's in the bottom because it's more dense. The thing that's more dense falls to the bottom. We're now going to try and make a really simple lava lamp. So if I just take some food dye, put a couple of drops into it, and we should see that fall down to the bottom in a second, just working its way through. Give it a little shake. Doesn't really want to go, okay. And now what we're going to do with the lava lamp, I've got some vitamin C tablets. Now you might well have these in your medicine cabinet. You need to obviously ask the adults in the house. Vitamin C, nice healthy vitamin. A lot of people take it as a health supplement. Because this is soluble, or it dissolves, let's see what happens when we drop it into the mixture. So it goes straight to the bottom, into the water, and it's going to start dissolving. Now what's happening as it dissolves, you can see it's making this really quite cool, almost like a lava lamp. As the vitamin C is dissolving, it's releasing lots and lots of gas, and the gas is called carbon dioxide. Now the gas won't do us any harm, but it gives this nice cool effect, which looks just like a lava lamp. As the bubbles of gas come up, you can see them really, really clearly through the oil. If you leave it to run long enough, eventually they'll separate out into two completely separate layers. So if we just watch this in a close up, then if we compare it to one that we did earlier, you can see they're completely separate. Now you could do this experiment in a jam jar, for example, with a lid on it. Then if you shake it up, no matter how many times you shake it with the lid on, it will mix initially, but within a very short space of time, it'll separate back out to looking like this, the two separate layers. So let's just go back to the vitamin C one. You can see now, it almost looks like it's a strawberry milkshake. But really simple experiments you can try at home. You can make a lava lamp, just make sure it's nice and safe and you check whoever's in the house. That's it.